I have a Dollar Tree home and fall decor haul. Halloween buckets. Backdrops for decoration. Goodie bags. Cute decoration. Garland and signs. I have one of these. I'm gonna get another one. Oh, these are super cute. Like Mr. Potato Head with a pumpkin. More super cute signs. And ghosts. This one's really nice. Here's some fall decor. More Halloween. Oh, these are super cute. I love the wood. Really nice wood too. And this witch's hat. You can spray the glitter with hairspray and it won't shed. Crafts. Day of the Dead. We have the, the lights here. And bats. And spiders. The well, the week. Yeah, a pumpkin and a ghost. I'm gonna get up for Jacqueline for trick or treating. They have some bowls in and a spider web. Creep it trail. Very cute. Some more Halloween. Soap pumps for your bathroom. I love the ghosts. Look at this real glass. And candy container. These are great for sweets and gifts for classrooms and teachers. I love the hand. Sport fall. Thanks and gather wood signs, all the great sprigs. Crafts. Geraniums. That's really nice. Oh, first of the Christmas. Oh, I love the gnomes. They are super cute. I finally found the boo and it's the last one so I'm gonna get it. And I got wood, ghosts, and pumpkins. I haven't done anything with my witch's hat yet. Love the metal words. Haunted, spooky, and beware. Another Halloween tree, so cool. Absolutely love these. I don't know they have my initials, but I'm going to look. Some more pumpkins. Ones with the buffalo check is my favorite. Christmas sprigs are in. It's good to eat them early while they're fully stocked. 
and they're gorgeous. I love these. And Day of the Dead, tall candles. I really like these. Mugs. These are a new reception. How cute. The skeletons. I'll get one of these. They're really nice this year. And I have some more garland. New from Juncture. A few different colors. I really like the black one. Look at what I found. They're gorgeous. I'm going to get a few of these. I love the black and white. How nice that is. They have it with the white and the black and the black and the white. And they have them in these. Very pretty. And they have this style. Look at the carpet remnants. These would be so expensive everywhere else. I'm gonna get two of these from my bathroom floor. The tile is just really old and I don't like it. You can totally make a huge rug area rug for a few dollars here with the Dollar Tree. This is Let Us Eat. I'm Suzanne Ridgeway and welcome back to my channel. I have another huge Dollar Tree wall filled with fall decor and home decor. I'm so excited. My Dollar Tree next to the Walmart and East Greenbush had a ton of new items in. Some fall, Christmas, yes I said Christmas, and stuff for the home. I am thrilled to be able to bring you all these products. I hope you enjoyed all those store clips of the sneak peeks of some of the things that I purchased. If you are new, thank you for clicking on my link and giving me a chance. I love to do Dollar Tree hauls, grocery hauls, Walmart hauls, random hauls with my children and stores that they like. We do all kinds of fun things here. I do Dollar Tree cooking, I cook, and I do cleaning videos and organization videos. If any of this interests you, please look at my subscribe guy that just popped up. He is directing you to like the video and to click on that subscribe bar down below. And don't forget to comment and subscribe because when we get to 600, we are going to do a $10 Dollar Tree gift card giveaway, one for new subs and one for comments must be United States residents. Also, if I get five more subscribers within the next couple of days, I will give away two Dollar Tree items. I have a short that I'll include in my description box down below of the items containing of what the giveaway is all about. It's just to increase the subscribers and views within my channel. I am up 62%. Congratulate me down below. Let's get me to a thousand, please. I'm halfway there, and then I can really start growing my channel. I am going to start showing you everything I got. I'm just going to grab things at random, no particular order. One of the things I saw in one of my favorite aisles at the Dollar Tree in the organization area are these huge carpet pieces. I'm not sure of the size, and they don't tell you on the back the actual size but it has this nice mat on the reverse side and I don't like the tile in my bathroom and I got three of them so I'm just gonna lay them on top of the tile after I give them a good clean and then just put my bath mat on top of the carpet remnant to kind of liven it up and dress it up a little bit it's an old bathroom the people that lived here before me never really took care of anything in here 
and I've been here 10 years and they probably will not renovate it unless I move out. And that won't be for a long time yet. So my youngest hasn't graduated from high school yet. They're only in seventh grade. My oldest is now in 12th grade, their last year of school. And I saw some really great wood Halloween signs and it has the spider on it. It says, happy Halloween. And the spider is the letter O. It's a nice orange and black. I know crafters love these types of backdrops and they just take the spider off and they tarnish it and then paint it and make all kinds of amazing DIYs with this type of wood. So even if it has the Halloween on it and you're a crafter, pick it up and you can do it any way your heart desires. Now I'm going to be bringing back my Dollar Tree frozen dinners soon. For busy nights and I picked up a couple more of the trays and they hold a perfect amount of food for larger families four or more in my Dollar Tree dinners there are some Dollar Tree freezer meals down below that you pop in your freezer and then if you have like a PTO and sports or you work part-time in the evening and you need to have dinner for your family have it thaw on the counter with the directions. Just pull the tray out of the freezer and you're good to go. I found the skeleton and I'm so excited. I love him. He seems to be a little better quality than in previous years. He's a decent size. And he is 18 inches. The Halloween stuff and the fall stuff is really amazing this year at Dollar Tree. I am so excited every time I go in there. Now, I have the eek that I showed way back in the beginning of August. And this says Boo. It's just a wood block decoration. And this is really good quality wood. A little explanation point at the end. It doesn't say how much the size is, but it's about the same size as the Eek. It was the last one as you saw in the clip. The Christmas sprigs are in, and the fall ones are selling out. So if you're still doing fall wreaths and things, get to the Dollar Tree, run, don't walk, and stock up before it's all gone. I started buying some of the Christmas sprigs, and I'm going to pick up a few more every time I go because I like to change out my vases in my house. I don't do real plants. I'm not a green thumb at all. And I just love the white and the gold. And if you're not a fan of the hairspray, I say this all the time. And if you're not a fan of the glitter, just take some hairspray and spray on the sprigs and it won't shed. They are so pretty. Here is a couple of my Christmas purchases. Very little Christmas at my Dollar Tree. I know that some stores down south have a ton of Christmas out already for the Dollar Tree. Mine are slowly moving things in. They just started getting more and more Halloween in. And the fall is selling out. So as I say, don't walk, run to Dollar Tree. Hope you find the treasures you're looking for. Look at these gnomes. They are so cute. I absolutely love them. I'm going to take their sticks off and I'm going to hang them on my tree. We went garage sailing last weekend. My husband, who didn't want to buy anything or go, was the first one to buy the first two things. He got this amazing knife set for a buck. And they're awesome knives. They're sharp. They work well. Every knife I could ever want as a cook, because I love to cook. And a Christmas tree, nine feet tall. It is beautiful and it's pre-lit. I'm so excited. I hate stringing lights. Now this is not wood, but it seems to be pretty decent plastic. It says beware. And they have different words, as you saw in the clip. And I really like it. You could probably even spray paint it black and make it fit your decor in your home. Over in the socks and scarves area with scrunchies and hairbrushes. 
I found this really nice pocketbook. I mean, not bad for a dollar if you don't want a big bag or even a cute little lunch bag to throw a sandwich in there and chips and a soda or water, whatever you drink. It's by Juncture. There's a couple of different styles. I only seen the one so far. If I happen to find the other style, I will grab it. I absolutely love this. It's one of the first things I put in my cart. It is pumpkin decorating kit. I got two of them. And it's like a Mr. Potato Head for your pumpkin. How much fun is that? My children are 12 and 17 but love Halloween. And my youngest still goes trick-or-treating. My oldest goes to parties now. She's a little sad about the trick-or-treating thing now that they're 17. But Halloween has always been focused on the younger kids. Even though some adults do like Halloween and that's okay. These are metal signs. It says Haunted, Spooky, and Beware that are included for your Reese. Let's take it out of the package. They had similar ones for Fall, Harvest, Gather, and Thankful. Here's the Haunted one. The crafting stuff at the Dollar Tree is incredible. I'm not even sure what that would cost at Michael's or if they even sell it. Here's the foil that I use on the foil trays to cover, to put into my freezer, and I just take my magic marker and I write on the foil what's in it and how to cook the, the dinner. I grabbed another one of these. In my cooking videos, you see me portion out food with them. I don't think I have the knife anymore, so now we have another knife. And they work really well to get the pumpkin guts out and to carve the eyes and everything in your pumpkin on your Halloween. The wood is really good quality. It's not flimsy cheap wood like plywood. And it says a spooky witch and her boo haunt here. And it has a little witch down at the bottom. Witches are one of my favorite Halloween characters, next to the black cat. I grabbed another box of the shells and cheese. You can make really great dinners with these, adding chicken or ground beef. And then vegetables, like mixed vegetables and bell peppers. Possibilities are endless. If you don't have the Pinterest account, I highly suggest getting one. I love Pinterest. I have almost 50,000 recipes on my Pinterest board for dinner ideas and 4,000 followers. So if you're interested, my Pinterest account is the same as YouTube, Let Us Eat with Suzanne Ridgeway. Give me a follow. And the, again, the wood, look, trick or treat and some pumpkin, the jack-o'-lantern, orange and black. I absolutely love that. That would probably be $3.99 on up at any other store. And then I got a one with a witch's hat, and it says, Welcome, my pretties. They finally got the baskets back in, and some of the dollar trees. And I just love the black and white with the woven pattern and the white trim. I think that looks so pretty in the bathroom, on bathroom shelves, or in a bedroom. Our linen closet and they had the bigger size baskets let's see if they give dimensions I don't see dimensions on them so bring a measuring tape with you to Dollar Tree if you need a certain size for your shelves and cabinets but I love these And I found the Day of the Dead candle. I keep that out all year because I love the skeletons. And the soap pumps were super cute. I got the ghost. So sweet. They have treat bowls. Creep it real. And the 
cat. I saw someone do a cauldron DIY with the cat. They just clipped off the ears and painted the face to put a skeleton and use the little bulb geraniums for bubbles. On TikTok, it was so cool. But that is so cute. I love that. I'm just going to keep it as the black cat. And I love the spiderweb bowl. It reminds me of the leaf bowls that you can make or button bowls with the balloons and the leaves and paper mache. Look how cool that is. If you're new here, thank you so much for dropping by and clicking on my link. That is it for this Dollar Tree haul. I appreciate each and every one of you. All the likes, dislikes, and views. My subscriptions are up 62%. I am so excited. My subscribe guy just popped up. He's asking everybody to go ahead and smash that like button. Don't forget to click on that subscribe word down below and tap on that bell. Here's what my Dollar Tree haul looks like.